this is the gel cell. I didn't flunk it after all, and I wanted to test the two similar metals. It's foil, uh, sorry, not foil, thin on each side, so similar metal. And sure enough, about the same voltage, around 0 0.02, as I was getting with the initial uh, test when I was um, pushing very hard against two foils with this electrolyte in the middle. But this one here is literally a gel and it works the same way so very interesting that you can use two similar metals so that's that for that cell again not very efficient but as close together as i could get them because i noticed for this effect it really has to be like paper thin so now i've got these plates made they're like ceramic so i'm going to try and see if i can uh, make something work with this I tighten it up real good and I'm getting one volt now. I just coiled wire around it, whatever works, right? So it looks bad, but it's really, really tight sandwiched. So what I find very interesting with this one here anyways, which I've made into a gel, is uh, I've experimented some more with, with using two similar um, electrodes and for some reason with the uh, carbon two the same it doesn't work but initially when I first started and I had the paper towel soaked in this electrolyte and let the paper towel dry and put the paper towel in between the two I used the same sheet of foil ripped it in two pieces and used that as electrodes I got around 0.2 of a volt I know it does it seems very little but what's interesting is you know that it's using two similar um, electrodes so I did the same here so I had this, this junk tin base from a um, that I bought a little magnets off and then I put a foil tape so and sure enough I get the same 0.2 volts doing it this way so what I'm getting at is if you've in a um, more professional um, lab environment, this would have to be exploited and some more to figure out exactly what's going on here. It's very interesting that so far it seems that it only works with tin for both electrodes. You don't get that much, it's 0 0.2, but it's still fascinating that it gets that. So probably have to do with something with the e volts value of the uh, thin foil against the electrolyte mixture which I'm making a guess here, but the electrolyte must be acting as an electrode of sorts of its own. So without traditional um, electron flow, like I've discussed in um, other uh, videos there. So just keeping you up to date, folks. What I was getting at is the um, PEG electrolyte with a bit of powder of black copper oxide seems so far to be the best um, variant for performance without conditioning and the uh, solidity of it as you see here are some plates i was able to make and it dries into a ceramic like this may even make it more waterproof i don't know yet but what's very interesting is i all i have to do is put two foil plates on each side hold it together with this clam and there's a voltage there if I want something more closer to one volt or higher, just find the dissimilar carbon on one side and the magnesium on the other, put the clamp back on and similar effect. Now I'm still not sure if this will interfere with the electrode properties, which I found were very interesting with just the PEG electrolyte because uh, you could charge them with very low voltage and they were performing very well. So I'm not there yet, so I don't know what's going to, if it will affect the conditioning process if I want to enhance them. But just as is, I think with the copper oxide, it does a drastic difference because I'm getting about 1.6 volts with one of the cells that dried. So far, this one here is the best with the uh, copper oxide and the uh, peg mix only. Uh, this is what I get overnight about 1.6 and the structure the, is different with this it's not the same like that salty um, that salt like crystal that you can break if you uh, press too hard this is more of a okay so this one here is very good I was able to get the uh, cathode and anode very close together here 
and it's the same electrolyte hardened, not even conditioned yet. And I just added the um, copper oxide powder to the mix. And I think it's making a good difference because it's not conditioned yet. So pretty good for that one. Use the carbon. Do you see? It looks like one, but that's how close I was able to get it.